case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in a contentious case between a prolific author and a tenacious attorney disagreements over a contract led to a legal standoff the attorney functioning as the author's personal representative and manager entitled himself to 10 percent of the author's earnings however when the author withheld payment a tug of war ensued over the possession of crucial business papers. This disagreement escalated to a lawsuit, with the author demanding the attorney relinquish the papers. The attorney countersued for compensation relating to the breached contract. As a compromise, the parties reached a written settlement agreement. The lower court, however, stirred up fresh controversy. Questioning the fairness of the original contract and the subsequent settlement, the court ruled the agreements as unjust and void. This unexpected decision necessitated a closer look into the validity of the original agreement, prompting an appeal and a need for a new trial. Contrary to the lower court's decision, the New York Court of Appeals reaffirmed the legality of the original contract. Despite the provision relating to the attorney's compensation, the court upheld the agreement in line with common business practices and prevalent entertainment industry contracts at the time. The appellate court ruled in favor of the freedom of contract stating that it is not their role to judge the wisdom of the contractual party's business decisions. Furthermore, it refuted the claim that the contract catered to the attorney's convenience alone, insisting on the apparent duties outlined for him in the existing contract. The court ultimately requested a new trial to scrutinize the relationship between the parties and the resulting modifications post-settlement. All the justices, including Chief Justice Lugrin and Justices Lewis, Desmond, Dye, Fold, and Frussell, concurred with this decision. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.